happy Sunday. Happy Groundhog's Day, February 2nd. February 2nd, 2020. It's like 0202020. It's pretty cool. So. Good morning. <clears throat> Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, watching this morning. Uh, my name is Tiffany Almeida, and I'm with Pretty and Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I do this every Sunday. You will find me here in my studio playing with new product and showing you guys all the fun that I have. All right, enough chit-chat, you guys. Let's show you guys the projects that we're making today. So, okay, when I saw this stamp set and I thought these little critters were so cute, but I felt like they needed a little buddy, right? They needed a like a they needed to be in pairs. And so I busted out with the mirroring technique so that they could have a partner. So the first one is our little raccoon here, and I am going to tell you guys this sentiment, this balloon is special. It's filled with helium. I, I just love that sentiment. Those little balloons and the dies, they cut out the, the, the um, string of the balloon, they cut out the balloon, they even cut out the raccoon. I just absolutely love the dies. So I made this cutie little, little raccoon. So if you guys don't know about the um, mirroring technique, I can't wait to show you. It's just so much fun. All right, this little cutie is a little strawberry treat, and I'll show you what's inside here in a minute. But you guys, um, the little mouse <laughs> reminds me of that storybook, um, you know, with the mouse and the bear and the berry, and it's like the mouse and the bear share the berry, or maybe they're fighting over it. I can't remember. But anyways, this is a, a cute little box that I made with our little mice friends, and it says, for a very special someone, the sentiment is for a very special someone, and this can say like a very special day for a very special someone, but I thought that was cute. Just one mouse giving the berry to the next mouse. And inside are these little strawberry shortcakes. Um, strawberry shortcake rolls from Little Debbie. I saw these at Winco, my local grocery store, and snagged them. So um, it just fits perfectly in this little box. In this box, by luck, um, I found it. Um, Poodles had a video for this box and I those dimensions were absolutely perfect for this cute little treat. So, and I did it some embossing to kind of make it look like a strawberry. I love the red and granny apple green together. So I'll show you guys how I did that. And then last but not least, I have a little squirrel card, a little squirrel. Doesn't he remind you of like Romeo and Juliet? It's like, oh, Romeo, oh, Romeo. <laughs> it could be a cute Valentine's idea. Um, Janie's little, um, sentiment about I'm nuts about I'm nuts for you or something like that uh would be really cute for Valentine's Day cute little card um no this somebody asked let's see uh Janie scratchy scratch no I didn't make this one um scented but you could totally do that embossing scratch and sniff with the berry my husband even went to scratch it and smell it last night because <laughs> because I made the other strawberry smelly so no I did not do that with this one but you guys know how you guys learned last week okay so let's go ahead and get now for the box. I like I mentioned I used a poodles um, Tutorial so all the measurements for my box or actually her design um, Is on my blog post. I have a project sheet at the bottom of the blog post or near the bottom It's not at the very bottom, but I have a project sheet and it has all the measurements It has all the supplies I used and everything to make this card. Oh, sorry for the glare um, Okay so now we're going to make these cute little mice. Cindy would beg to di disagree. She does not like mice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like mice on paper. <laughs> that, that's about the only mice I like. Okay. Um, so I have some scrap pieces of Whisper White. So we're going to do... We're going to do the exact same thing we did before. We're going to stamp two images. One's going to be reverse and one's going to be the right way facing. So I'm going to use Memento Black ink and stamp my first mouse. I think he's going to have to be a lot closer. Just make sure we've got a good image. Yes. Good mouse. Okay, now we're gonna do it again. 
Well, as soon as I saw dies for this set, Terry, I knew I had to have it because it's so dang cute, but I thought I'm not going to fussy cut all, all these animals and I just wasn't uh, too interested. And then when they came out with dies, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting this stamp set because it is so cute and I love the sentiments in it and I just didn't want it if it didn't have dies with it. I'm just like, I'm, uh, what's the word? <laughs> Stuck up. I'm a die, I'm a die snob or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we did that background image again, remember on the reverse side. So here's the right facing mouse and then here's the opposite facing mouse. So now we're gonna have two mice facing different ways. So we have that. Now I used Memento so I can clean this later and I won't worry too much about it at the moment. Now I have to have another piece of Whisper White to do our little strawberry. That part we do have to fussy cut out, but I feel like that image isn't too bad to cut out. So I'm using the stamp, the strawberry from Witty Sisms. Now that's the one I used last week. Remember the scratch and sniff strawberry. So I'm just using that same strawberry. I'm just gonna cut it out. So just ink it really well, stamp it, and then we're gonna color and cut it. So the first thing we need to do is color our mice. This one, I have the Stampin' Write marker. Oh, wait, 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 where is, this is another one of those two-step stamps, and it has an inside piece to fill the inside of our mouth, so for one of the mice, at least, we can just stamp it, and then the other one we can color. Okay, so there's the stamped mouse. And then I have the stamp and write marker to color the other mouse. I don't know why I used the stamp and write marker this time, but I did. I'll just color him in. Or her. He or she. Don't forget his little mouse tail. Okay. So now they're colored. These ones we'll cut out with dyes. This one we need to color and then we'll cut out by hand. Um, so I used real red. And granny apple green. Oh no, I lost my video. I. You're so funny this early. Why? Am I losing my mind? <laughs> ah! My coloring's funny looking this early in the morning. Whoa, the tip of my. Real red has seen better days. Okay, so I did some shading with my strawberry. And then I'm using Granny Apple Green for the stem. Try to blend out that mistake that I did. That's the nice thing about blends. If you go out the lines and it's in another part where it needs to be colored, you can kind of blend it away. So there's our strawberry colored. And then you know what I should do? I could make a shiny part of the strawberry by using my color lifter and just kind of coloring in a spot and it will remove the color there and make it look shiny. Just kind of like the balloon concept, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and cut that out. You guys get to see my horrible scissor, scissor skills. As much as I suck at cutting things out, I do like to fussy cut sometimes, but I suck at it. Some things just have to be fussy cut. Like there's just no way around it. Okay. All right, so there's our little strawberry. He's so cute. I love to combine stamps as well. And I just knew that this little mouse needed a strawberry. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and die cut. 
our little mice. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I lost my video. I, <laughs> I moved my laptop out of the way. Okay, remember this is the reverse image, so we have to cut out the background, the back image, and it should line up perfectly. Um, I moved my laptop and I touched the corner where there was an X, so I just closed down the whole internet. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's a little mouse, cute, cute, cute. Got to put this mouse away or I will lose him. Okay. Now we've got our little mice. We've got our strawberry. They are all set. So for the box, this the, bo the bottom of our box is 4 and 15 sixteenths. So 15 sixteenths. So almost the tiniest little line next to 5. And then it's 6 and 15 sixteenths. So again, that tiny little line next to the 7. So 4 and 15 sixteenths by 6 and six, 15 sixteenths. Say that six times fast. And then the top lid portion is four inches by six inches. So that's a lot easier to remember, four by six. That's scored at one inch on all four sides. The red piece is scored at one and a half on all four sides. Now we are going to run our green piece, our granny apple green piece, through the dynamic layering leaves embossing folder. So let's do that. And I love that the lid is embossed. Like, I think that look is really, really cool. And of course, I was going for the kind of strawberry look, right? So the red bottom and the leafy top. So that's what I was kind of going for. I have run out of tabletop space. And my, my big shot is living on the ground. So I have to keep going down and picking it up. Uh. So that is my goal, <clears throat> actually, to work on my craft room and get some much needed furniture in here. I have one little table and one little countertop and everything is on the floor, it feels like. So um, yeah, it's my goal to actually get some working space <laughs> and some storage space, much needed. But I focused uh, my money and time on getting my husband moved out of here and into his own office. So we built him a desk, painted the room, um, moved all his stuff upstairs. So it's really nice. I, I like that he has a space that he can kind of call his own and he's out of mine. But now, now the problem is money and furniture for my office. Which it's hard. It's hard to budget that kind of stuff. You know, those big big purchase items so but it'll happen eventually I just wish I could go on a, a wonderful magical shopping spree at Ikea that would solve all my problems <laughs> but I have dreams and it will happen just piece by piece so in the meantime everything's on my floor <laughs> okay so there's our lid voila super easy to put together right I didn't even really tell you. Hopefully you were just watching what I did. <laughs> I folded all of the score lines. I'm going to do the exact same thing um, for the top portion or for the bottom portion. So cutting these four corners. So I just cut up one side and then I miter the end. So I've kind of got this nice little tab. Then I turn it, cut up the side, miter the end, turn it, cut up the side, Miter the end and one more. Cut up the side. Whoop, almost got the wrong way. And miter the end. Okay. You should see my kitchen table and surrounding area. Yes, I am not complaining. I am super, super grateful that I have this space. It's just it's just a lot of work to make it, you know, functional and it takes a lot of time and and money that I don't have, you know. So I am very grateful for the space and grateful that I have room to, for my husband and I to have our own spaces. 
because yeah, crafting on a kitchen table in a shared space is really hard. And I used to be like that. I used to have to pack up my crafting supplies and um, put them away and then take them out. And it was, ugh, it was like so much work to just pack and unpack and store everything in the tub, you know, in a container. So I totally am super grateful. I'm not complaining. I'm just, um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done for this room to be functional. <clears throat> okay, so here's our box. That went together like quick, right? Here's our little shortcake roll, strawberry shortcake roll, and it fits just snug as a bug in here. Okay, and then we just close that. You just kind of gotta, sometimes you gotta just kind of squish it in a little bit and it fits nice and snug. The lid's not going anywhere. All right, so now we have our little, um, our little mice to put on. I went ahead and I already cut out the label that we're gonna glue them on. And remember, that's from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I just used one of the smaller ones. And I do wanna stamp a little sentiment <clears throat> for a very special someone. And wouldn't that be so cool if it said, for a very special someone? Of course, the berry didn't come with the stamp set, so. But I do love a little pun, a little play on words. That's always fun. So I'm just stamping this down at the bottom in the center for a very special someone. And I did take, and I'll be honest, I did not check to see if this is still current ribbon. I just knew that I had to use it because it was so dang cute. I'm going to cut a V. Oh with ribbon scissors. I'm just gonna cut a V in it. Nope. Try again. And cut another V here. Okay. This is the Real Red Ruched Ribbon. It was in the holiday catalog and I love it. Love, love, love it. Um, but I don't know if it's still current, if you could still get it or not. I didn't check. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of tearing tape on the back so that I can just glue this down. It's kind of how I do this. It's kind of a step-by-step -step process. So I put this across the middle, take another piece of tearing tape. Oh, goodness. I don't want it to go all the way to the ends. I kind of want my ends to be free, so I'm just doing tearing tape in the middle. Oh, yeah, smart. I could just type the sentiment. That would be really cute. I forget, and it's so dumb. It sounds so stupid coming out of my mouth, but I forget that I could really just type anything <laughs> that I want to say. Ugh, Tiffany, I'm just a little slow. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, there's this thing called computers that can print paper, what? You mean I can say anything I want to say? <laughs> Uh, so how's your guys' day going? <laughs> just, just a little slow. All right, so there's my little berries, and I'm going to take my, my berries. <laughs> Those are my little mice. I'm going to take the berry. I need to go back to bed, I think. Oh, and then put our little berry in the center. Oh, he's just so, they're just so cute together. Okay. So, the mirroring image with this stamp set is so fun. You get twice the critters, you guys. Twice the critters, twice the cuteness. They have their little their little significant other, their bestie, or their loved one. Cute. So cute. Okay. So, I hope I have helped you fall in love with this stamp set and the dies. And I hope... But if you're a demonstrator, you already own the dies. And if you're not a demonstrator, you get them on February 4th. And I believe that if you wanted to buy the starter kit and get the dies today, you could do that uh, before February 4th. And it can be part of your starter kit. Thank you guys so much for a fabulous Sunday. You guys make it special. Have a wonderful, happy Super Bowl Sunday and a happy Groundhog's Day. And we will see you guys next week, okay? Bye. Love you guys.